Sherdog.com here with Jason Hyper, preparing to fight Rafael dos, dos Anjos at USC Fight Night on June 7th. How prepared do you feel right now? I'm feeling real good, man. I, uh, everything's going according to plan. The weight's coming off. I'm feeling great, so I'm ready to go. I did want to ask about the appendicitis uh, uh, that uh, forced you out of about earlier this year. What was that experience like? Um, it was it was crazy. I spent eight days in the hospital. I was you know before that I was sick for about a week, uh, and I didn't really have any idea what was going on. So it was it was really crazy, man. I mean, uh, life changing. I'd say you know nothing like nothing like being uh, you know immobilized basically for eight days uh, in a bed. You know, so uh, it'll give you some perspective. Definitely give you some pers perspective for sure. Well, this will be your first fight at lightweight. You announced uh, dropping to lightweight after your last fight, I think around November or so. You've had about six months to cut. Did that have anything to do with the appendicitis? And how do you feel about dropping to lightweight? Uh, no, n not really. I was I was thinking of uh, going to lightweight uh, probably late last year, you know. So um, didn't didn't really have anything to do with the appendicitis, but you know it was it was helpful. I was pretty light when I came out of the hospital. So, um, you know, but I gained a little bit of weight back and then, you know, started started making my way down. Well, when you announced you were dropping to lightweight, you had two wins in a row at um, uh, Walter Wade, uh, a 2-1 uh, record in the UFC. What made you decide to drop to, to, um, to lightweight? I just think lightweight suits my frame a little bit better, you know. Uh, I'm always on the shorter end of fighting guys at, light, or at Walter Wade, you know, fighting guys that are 5'10", 6 foot, I'm 5'8", so... You know, it just suits my frame a little bit better. So what was this uh, training camp like, uh, being uh, making that cut? It's been re pretty routine, honestly. Honestly, I mean, I, I had, you know, just changed up my diet a little bit, and that's that's been about it, you know, honestly. Uh, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it seems like this is no big deal making this debut at lightweight for you. Uh, for now, you know, I haven't made the weight yet, so, you know, I haven't been down there yet, but, you know, my weight's coming coming off, and I feel like I'm in striking distance, and I've been been there for a while, pretty comfortably training hard, so, yeah, I, I think it's, go I, I, you know, we had a plan, and I followed it pretty well, so everything's going really well. I guess one reason that I'm kind of focusing on the uh, drop in weight is because uh, your opponent, uh, Rafael uh, Dos Hanos, um is quite experienced in the UFC, and this seems a bit of a, a trial by fire starting this division against him. What are your thoughts on uh, Rafael Dos Anjos? He's definitely a tough opponent. I mean, um, you know, it's. I feel like generally in in, in the UFC, you're always going to get a tough fight, but you know, it's just you know people people know him. He's on the rankings. So I think that's why maybe people think it's, you know, a trial by fire. But for me, you know, I'm, I'm looking to step up and I'm looking to show that, I'm, that I can be one of the best in the world. So it's everything, like I said, everything's going according to plan. He's coming off that uh, unanimous decision loss to uh, Khabib uh, Nurmagomedov. Um, <laughs> please forgive me, people. <laughs> um, what do you think of, uh, what, what, are your, what is your opinion on that fight? Uh, well, he just got bullied a little bit, got got grappled up, you know, got, you know, just got bullied and thrown around a little bit. So I think, you know, it's uh, Khabib has definitely got a good style to do that. But, you know, uh, I kind of I'm not one to look at, at past fights and just be like, you know, I can I can do that to him also. But, you know, we have our own game plan, you know, so we're, we're definitely looking to exploit some of the things that Khabib did. But we're, we're going to do our own thing also. On the same card, uh, teammate uh, Eads Edwards is also fighting, also lightweight. Was he involved in your training camp at all? Yeah, me and Eves been uh, actually been training together for about five years. For, before before I came to American Top Team, you know, we trained out in California. Uh, we trained, we got a few rounds together. You know, it's always great to train with him. He's a legend. You know, he's one of the guys that I looked up to in the sport for a long time. So, you know, anytime I get to work out with him, I, I definitely feel fortunate. You know. Well, without any revealing any game plan, what do you think fans should expect from this fight? Uh, high pace, man. I mean, I, Rafael fights at a high pace, and you know, me coming down, me coming down to from welterweight. That's the one of the things that that we worked on in the training camp is bringing my pace up too. So I'm looking to meet him and, and outpace him and just beat him up.